Hello and welcome to the old farm, Yarn Shabbos map. In this episode we're going to have a look at the production center. This will be the penultimate episode. In the next and the last episode we'll look at all the other bits and pieces of new stuff. Right, so we're just arriving at the production center. Got a load of uh, strawberries brought in and just going to offload those. We have a quick look around the layout of the production center. Nice little area for customers to come and view the process. I guess they're stirring the jam there, or the jelly as they say. This is where the pallets come in. So just directly ahead is the margarine factory so they do share the pallets and this is where the end product is delivered and where we'll come and pick it up and then if we head straight on down here we'll get to the office where we can get our productions going and have a quick look and see what we've got in stock pretty much got bits and pieces of everything. I didn't do watermelon and melon because I couldn't buy those in the store. Um, so we just need sugar. We'll pop down, go and get some sugar and then we'll get the production going. Right, besides the fact that you need pallets, it's pretty standard production, but I thought I'd just show it to you in any event. Uh, first time I'm using the IT runner in 20. Uh, farming Simulator 22 so we will just watch the nice action although I'm not going to pull up the, tra the trailer at the moment because I'm just going to drag it on down to the sugar pallets let them load I've always found with this IT runner that it seems to load easier when the trailer is off the back or the bed, I suppose you want to call it. I'm not sure you call it the trailer. Because it doesn't really trail behind. But it's the lorry bed. You can also load these by just moving everything closer to the to the actual bed. And it'll just auto load from there. Right, so that's all the sugar done. Just get this pulled up and onto the lorry. Onto the truck, whichever you prefer. And we'll take it back up to the production centre and go and get this production started. Yeah, as I said, pretty standard productions except for the need for pallets which is standard through most and not all but a lot of the productions on this map uh, just all the main ingredients go in here the milk is offloaded just up the front just in front of this offload point where we are now Offloads nice and quickly, I like that. Let's go and get that parked up and then we'll get the productions fired up. Right, back to the office. Right, so we've got strawberries, strawberry jelly. Must be jelly because jam don't wobble. Remember that from the youth. Tomato jelly. Tomato drink, I suppose for the Bloody Marys after a heavy night out. Strawberry milkshakes, chocolate milkshakes, and you can also get watermelon and, and melon smoothies. Right, so we'll just fast forward speed. Speed, get through to the next day-ish. And there we have some productions. So there we have the Strawberry milkshake, 
chocolate milkshake tomato drink and we have the tomato jelly strawberry jelly or jam <laughs> depends which way you want it I always grew, grew up saying jam and another palette of chocolate milkshake or strawberry milkshake should I say and that's pretty much the reduction except for the watermelon and melon smoothies that's pretty much all of them and I think that's where we're going to end this episode thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and as we pan through here we will see you in the next episode cheerio